Trump directed him to do it all. Manafort may flip, Cohen may provide other evidence. The president did nothing wrong. There are no charges against him. Impeachment. This is what they've wanted for a long time. Amid a storm of legal implications, political questions, and even talk of impeachment. If I ever got impeached, I think the market would crash. There it was, a tweet from left field. I've asked Secretary of State Pompeo to closely study the South Africa land and farm seizures and expropriations and the large-scale killing of farmers. The tweet was apparently spurred by a story on the president's favorite channel. President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa, has begun, and you may have seen this in the press, seizing land from his own citizens without compensation because they are the wrong skin color. It's true the South African government is in a fierce debate over politics ahead of next year's elections, debate on whether to allow some white-owned farms to be seized and handed to black citizens, reparation for years of apartheid. AFRIFORUM, an activist group that mainly represents white South Africans, has called for international intervention. Millions of people in this country need your protection. Initiative South Africa's president says the issue will be debated by the public and in parliament. But is large-scale killing of farmers underway? Not according to a study last year from a large South African farmers group, which found while violence in rural parts of the country remains high, attacks on farmers have actually been declining. Trump's tweet was based on false information, government officials quickly said, calling them hysterical comments. Still, the false notion of white South African farmers under genocidal fire is a popular trope with white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and conspiracy theorists, some of whom have plenty to like in President Trump. His brutal comments about some African countries, his attacks on protesting football players, and more. Even as he insists, he's no racist. I am the least racist person you have ever interviewed. That I can tell you. So to be clear, as far as we can find, the president has never before directly tweeted about any issues in Africa. And now that he has chosen to do so, he has forwarded a piece of fake news about the alleged plight of white people living there.